Good morning, this is Lisa, the naturalist at John James Audubon State Park. It's Wild Wednesday, so that means again we have another video to learn a little bit more about nature. Last week we looked at some of the wildflowers growing in our woods. This time we're going to look at an animal that a lot of people like, turtles. There are several different kinds of turtles, uh, those that like to live on land and those that like to be in the water instead. Did you know that throughout the state of Kentucky, there are at least 14 different kinds of turtles? Here at the park, we might see the common snapping turtle, the eastern box turtle, the mud turtle, the musk turtle, the red-eared slider, possibly a painted turtle, and maybe the map turtle. Now out of all those I showed you, all but one are aquatic, meaning they prefer to be in the water. The one turtle that we have that would prefer to be on land is of course our eastern box turtle. First off, let's learn a little bit about a turtle shell. The top is called the carapace, the bottom is called the plastron, and then this area that joins the two, that's called the bridge. Now this particular shell is actually pretty flat, and the plastron is very flat as well. This is an aquatic turtle's shell. Being flat leaves very little water resistance, so they're able to quickly travel through the water. This other shell that I'm going to show you is not flat. Instead, it has more of a dome shape to it, more rounded. And it even kind of curves up on one end. This is actually a small box turtle shell. So this is a land turtle. Now you might have noticed that these shells are empty. There's no turtle in them. If maybe you've watched a video or seen a storybook or looked at cartoons and you saw a turtle running around without a shell on and then he dives back inside real quick, can they really do that? No, they cannot. Unfortunately, if you find an empty shell, that turtle's not alive anymore. And here's how I know that. If we go back to our box turtle shell and I turn it over for you to look inside, you can actually see that turtle's spine. The vertebrae go right down that turtle shell. And if you look closer, right here, these are actually ribs. So this shell is actually an extension of that turtle's rib cage. And the body sits inside that rib cage. So the shell is actually living bone. And you can't climb out of your bones. And neither can a turtle. And this little guy is a baby musk turtle. He's now part of our educational animals here at the Nature Center. And I thought you might enjoy watching him this morning because it's feeding time. As he moves throughout his aquarium here, you might notice that aquatic turtles have extremely long necks. This enables them to stay submerged where they're safe, but still be able to reach up to grab at food or go up to the surface to take in a breath of air. Something else unique to aquatic turtles, they have really big feet. They're webbed, 
which makes them like a paddle. And as we've seen this little turtle do, those big paddle feet help them maneuver easily through the water, making quick directional changes and propelling themselves very quickly from one place to another. He's still very small, only about the size of a quarter. And the best place to find turtles here at Audubon State Park is at Wilderness Lake. If you'll hike the Wilderness Lake Trail out into the nature preserve, about halfway through that trail, you'll end up at this 13 acre site that you see behind me. It's the perfect spot where you, for you to observe lots of different turtles. We have snapping turtles, a lot of sliders, maybe some map turtles and musk turtles. It's the perfect aquatic setting. If you get too close, they'll probably slide down the bank or slide off the log that they're basking on and swim out to safety. There's also plenty of food for, here for them. A lot of your aquatic turtles are mostly plant eaters, but they'll also supplement their diet with aquatic creatures. So perhaps the uh, water insects, crayfish, uh, even uh, small fish, tadpoles, uh, whatever they can find in that water becomes a food source for them. From our observation deck, you can pick out a couple turtles swimming in the water today. So if you want to observe some turtles, hike on out here and see what you can find. Join me again next week for another edition of Wild Wednesday.